your training. Keep us straight. Keep a level. Don't do any hand jazz. Yeah, Diggs. Got it. You sure? She breaks above 100, so don't... Diggs, the glove's reading my brain waves. I gotta keep my mind blank. Oh, right, right. Breaking through a giant miasma wall. Don't need me yet. <laughs> She's on the other side of this wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't quitting. We'll find a little brother. We'll find her. My asthma's kicking up. Let's get back to town. Fix this glove. Here's the quickest way home. We take a look around. Some good loot in these parts. Sure is angry, swirling like a whirlpool. Beautiful. Don't go near it. is still active. We can't get through here.
humbly accept this esteemed peace prize, not for myself, but for the pioneering spirit of all Americans. We have righted the wrongs of our forefathers, healed the scars that divided us, put an end to hunger and war. A renaissance for humankind, a great stability. Now, let us work together to share this American paradise with the whole world. Jenny there? It's Tommy. Hope to hell you get this message in time. I got the kids. They're shaking up, but doing okay. Annie's asking where mommy is. I'm telling her you're coming soon. And, uh, well, Max is completely obsessed with his toys, so good call on those. Listen, don't come to the bridge. Police are blocking the roads because, well, there are no roads. Meet me back at your uncle's place. Kids are safe. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, just one more thing. I need you... Locked. Need a key card to get in. Gotta find Mama. Sick of being alone. Just want some family. What? You got your family right here. Me. Yeah, but Diggs, you're a. Oh, what? Uh. <sighs> kick ass brother. Best brother I could ever have. Ha, <laughs> you know it. for a moment a world without want, a world without war. Fifty years ago, this was only a dream. Now, this is our reality, a renaissance for humankind. We call it the Great Stability. We are truly blessed to live in this age. been some meeting. Yikes.
This looks good. technology has opened the door to a world without hunger. Our food production has become greener than ever. Insect farms absorbing CO2. Seaweed beds eating and digesting microplastics. And AUs, farming in hostile climates. Welcome to the age of unlimited. I see it, but I don't believe it. What are those things? Uh, frogs. 
frogs walking on two legs murdering people. Those are not animals. Not people neither. They're monsters. Goddamn monsters. What are they doing with... Wait. Hold on. That's the Vader family. Please! Don't do it! No! No! That was the Vader family. We gotta deal with these assholes. We don't fight anything we don't understand. We're going home. Hey, you are aware the only way home is through them? Shit. Hey, get Tiger tough, little brother. We about to throw down. Dicks, these things are freaking huge. Hey, you want to get back to town? Pull that trigger. Tiger tough. Come on. Never liked me that much. Full cover. Can't get a clean shot. Let's flank the bastard. Hit him from the side. So, you? Rocking and rolling, we made these boys extinct. I don't think so. Look! Find some cover. When the time's right, flank them.
Digs. I'm right here, dipshit. Come and get me. Killed their buddies. We gotta get back to town now. Seeing the Vodder family rotten out here. Damn, frog monsters. Is this some sick joke? Watch your anger, Elvis. We should go. We gotta get these bodies back home. Yeah, we'll come back later. You don't know what's making the miasma angry, do you? To know what's making the miasma angry, you have to know what miasma is. What it really is. And you have no idea. At least you know how to fear it. That's good. You see it turn air into poison, nature into nightmares, frogs into monsters. You know you can't escape it. The miasma surrounds your town like an ocean surrounds a lonely island. And it's spreading across America, twisting this once great nation into a lethal wasteland. 
So don't leave. Stay safe and sedentary. The dull, colorless mining settlement you've lived in your whole life. Put your head down. Work hard. Provide the gold that feeds America's rulers, the first family. And pray the miasma's anger doesn't wipe your town off the map. No one here is brave enough to conquer their fear or create their destiny, except you, Elvis. With your big brother, Diggs, and years of hard work, you've harnessed your glove's power, and now you want to find me. But you still don't know what it really is, do you? I could tell you, but revelations must be earned. So a secret, it shall remain. Maybe in the future, you will be strong enough to break through the wall and find me. And if you do, maybe I will tell you my secret. But we both know you'll die along the way. Because between me and you, lies the miasma. We gotta tell the mayor what we saw. The mayor? What's he gonna do against frog monsters? He can't hold a gun. Can't even run. He's been running this town for 80 years. He'll know what to do. Oh, sedentary. Home sweet home. You saved my ass back there, big man. Uh, you got the magic, bro. All I got is strength, wisdom, charisma, good looks. I can do you one better than that. A fried bologna sandwich. Oh, wee. With the bread soaked in butter. Yep. If I close my eyes and lick my lips, I can still taste it. Mm-hmm. Mmm. So much food, we don't have no more. Remember hot dogs? Sure. Remember dogs. Girl, please. I'll let my children starve before I feed them their puppy. You have a puppy? Well, how much you want for it? I'll, I'll give you anything. Anything. The collectors are coming, Ellis. Hope you're doing your part. care how many elections Mayor Mason steals, he'll always get my vote. Why is that? He's a war hero. <sighs> yeah, but the war was a long time ago. Did I ever tell you about uh, Mason's rise in the U.S. Army? Yeah, Daddy, two dozen times. He started as a cook. He became the only... Your house looks like shit. Fight me. It's your house, too. You should clean this yard up. Attract some customers. You're a good boy, Elvis. Your mama would be proud. We're heel people. We don't give up. Give it up, Elvis. No power on Earth is gonna break through that miasma wall. So what if I do drink too much, moonshine? You ain't the judge of me. Heard Caleb keeps some cool stuff back here. Too bad it's locked. You get a taste for it yet? For what? Come on, man. Smoke sticks. Back 80. Not for me. That's a gateway drug. Psh, gateway to what? Ain't no drugs left in this town. I'll give you a sample. 
I don't want a sample. This is primo stuff, last of its kind. <laughs> Special menu. Oh, yeah? What's that? Then the whole. Wearing that glove's like strapping dynamite to your wrist. Be careful. There's a girl. I haven't seen her around town before. Hey, what's your name? My name is Get the Hell Away From Me Before I Pop a Cap in Your Ass. Nice to meet you, too. Hey, yo, Elvis, Diggs! Sheriff gave me this badge. I'm official gatekeeper to Gator Zone. That sick or what? Pretty sick, Earl. Guarding the border like a boss, boss. Hey, you know that girl over here? I seen her following you. Her name's Jade. Snuck into town last week. Heard she's a bounty hunter or something. Great, just what we need. You in trouble, Elvis? What does she want? Not a damn clue, Earl. You saw monsters? For real? Damn, Travis was telling the truth. He saw them too? He said he killed three of them in a row with his shotgun. He just stayed where he was, dug in like a tick, watched them walk into his line of sight. Boom, boom, boom! One after the other. Helps to have a gun with multiple rounds. I got some tips for you. Have you seen any barrels out in the wasteland? Maybe. Well, these barrels contain some volatile chemicals left by the originals. Try shooting them. It's really cool. But shoot from a distance or you might get hurt. Good luck. Oh, she agreed to marry you? Sure did. She must be blind then. Nope. I got a good thing with that girl. The miasma can't do shit to love. Can it? Oh, man. I haven't seen Georgia in a while. Maybe I should say hi. Look what the gator dragged in. I walk past your shop, Elvis. It looks like hammer shit. All oh, right, because this place is immaculate. <laughs> Smells good, too. Don't try to get on my good side, Elvis. I no longer have one. Now, I know you want to find your mama, and no one's going to tell you different. But this town needs a good mechanic, especially with the first family up our asses. Mayor J. Mason. Make all the jokes you want, but that man refuses to die. When he lost his legs, he dragged his butt through a half-mile tunnel. When he lost his arms, he fought tooth and nail to become mayor of this town. He must be over a hundred years old. Still sharp as a knife. He might live forever. Mm. Be careful of men who refuse to kick the bucket. They'll do anything it takes to hold on. Anything. You know, I really wanted your mama to come back. You miss her? Nah. I wore 50 plastic. She skipped town before I could pay her back. She's been gone so long, though. Might as well give it to you. Really? I don't know, Georgia. She's not coming back. I'm sorry. Take the money and bury the past. Years ago, we used to trade with the first family face to face. Now they just send their robotic flunkies to squeeze us dry. <laughs> Damn collectors. They take our gold, and in return, they give us just enough supplies to keep us digging. But where else are we gonna buy supplies? They got us bent over a log, all right. So we tell the first family to get lost. What's so hard about that? That's what Elizabeth Town did. Where are they now? Underground, buried in rubble. You know what vexes me? What does the first family do with all that gold? 
You ruminate on what I told you. Elvis, when you opening your shop again? My cleaner bot needs fixing. Good cleaning robot. She'll get us a discount. Keep talking to me about cleaning and I'll hang you up there. Tonight is the night, Elvis. I must go. I must leave sedentary. Diggs will take care of you until you're able to take care of yourself. With his help, in years of hard work, you will learn to harness the glove's power. And when you do, come find me beyond the miasma wall. There, I will tell you who you really are and who you must become. Promise me, as I have promised you, your mother, Bamadi. Mama's picture. What do you remember about her? <sighs> Not a lot. Didn't get much quality time with her. I keep dreaming about the night she left. Her giving me this glove. Why the hell did she put this responsibility on me? I don't know. When we find her, we can ask her. Yeah. Belongs in the mine. Mine is a double, bitches. <laughs> Woo Elvis and Diggs. What y'all been up to? Hey, try this moonshine. Daddy's recipe. Ugh, smells like motor oil. Bingo, it is oil. And some tree bark and uh, a tire rubber. <laughs> I mean, you can make moonshine from just about anything, guys. Well, in a town of dwindling resources, improvisation is key. Just, uh, <laughs> don't tell the sheriff. Oh, so you're telling me that outside of town, right now, there's just a bunch of monsters? Like, like real monsters? Yeah, they killed the Vodder family. I think they're coming for the town. Whew, I need a drink. It's moonshine o'clock somewhere, right? They're huge. Bulletproof, too. Maybe they got some kind of big boss alpha type monster. If we kill that boss, we might see the weaker ones back down. And, well, by we, I mean you. Damn law's been on my ass all week. Look, I didn't kill Clint Boom. Moonshine killed Clint Boom, all right? Hey, what do I got to do with it? I ain't worried. Sheriff Zebedee can barely walk now. What happened to him? My asthma infection in his knee. Got it tracking some thiever in the Badlands. Sounds painful. Sounds pathetic. Now he's trying to recruit people to be his deputies. Every day this town loses something. Hell, I remember our last bottle of whiskey. Uh, I had a beer a few years back. <sighs> Don't even get me started on beer. God, I miss beer. I even miss my wife. Sorry. I didn't know she died. Ah, uh, no, she's alive. We just got divorced. Say, 
I'd never want to betray her confidence, but can you keep a secret? She stashed her valuables somewhere in the town. Ever 50 plastic, I can reveal to you where the stash is. You want to steal your wife's stuff? No, not me. You. You should steal it. If you leave her with nothing, she's going to come back to me. Look, man, you be doing me a real solid. Just give me 50 plastic, I'll tell you the location of her treasure. Okay, you're lost. Keep on living, amigos. Keep on living, amigos. No one's getting through that miasma wall, Elvis. You must give up and stop torturing yourself. Diggs, we gotta stay and deal with this. Let's turn around then. Come on, you stupid thing. It's hurting already. You should get back in the mine where you belong, bot. Remember to follow safety regulations and mine protocol. Get the manifold check. It was checked three times. I don't trust Billy checking it. You tell Roscoe to. Roscoe checked it too. They're all saying the same thing. The gold's running dry. Hey, lower your damn voice. Sorry. Come on now. Use that head of yours. The gold is there. I'll check it myself. Well, you can't right now. Something's wrong with the manifold. Let me talk to Billy. Close shafty, we can breathe again. Mine is safe. The heart of sedentary, the gold mine. What happened in Shaft D still feels wrong, all right? But we gotta accept the hardship. Accept the hardship? My brother's dead. No one's telling me why. We're in the process of finding that out. I, I know it's gonna take a long time to heal, but... How did they die? We don't have substantial info to present at this time, all right? Yeah, Ooh. they're sheep, man. If you kill. Look, man. Ah, good man. There's a gate behind the bar. Unlock it with this key and thank me later. Keep on living, amigos.
passing, madam. <laughs> when the miasma took the chicken, we ate dog. <sighs> I remember dogs. Talk to the old man. Elvis, the boy with the magic glove. Mayor, listen, this is gonna sound crazy, but we saw monsters. Real monsters. What's with the hunched shoulders and sour puss, boy? I keep telling you. If you don't project power, someone's going to take it from you. You heard what he said, old man. Monsters, right outside town. I'm talking to the smart one. You tin brain did we? Okay, say that again. <laughs> Diggs, calm down. <sighs> Trash can. What's he yakking about, monsters? That's what they were. Big, nasty frog things. They killed the Vodder family. Damn near killed us, too. Loads of them are coming for the town. You gotta do something. Mm hmm I knew this day was coming. What you mean you knew? It was the last full moon. The mayor of Pikeville was screaming at me on the radio about some invasion. I sent the sheriff out there for a look-see. He said the townspeople were gone. The streets were covered with giant sacks of eggs. Frog eggs. We can't let that happen here. You can get the town to fight. This is a mining town. We mine. No, the miasma's changing. Behaving differently. It's more important than ever. You get through that wall and find your mama, Bamati. She's the only one who might know what's going on. Like it or not, Elvis, the fate of our town is in your fingers. Yeah, about my fingers. The glove's dead. I blew out the power core. Well, go find a new power core and come back here pronto. I'll take another look at your mama's data drive. See if she left any clues on how to keep that glove from breaking. And one more thing. Do not leave town. It's too dangerous out there.
Only one place to get a power core. Marcus? Fat chance, little brother. After the shit you pulled. The fate of the town's in my fingers, right? Why can she say no? The evil energy surrounds our town on all sides. But we shall not fear the miasma. We're gonna do a backflip on the miasma. hands and say it with me we're gonna stop the miasma from poisoning us we're gonna put the miasma in the headlock hey hey pack deal's gone what do you mean pack deal's gone i can't get anybody on the radio it's, it's like the town up and disappeared you tell the mayor about this sure did don't know what he wants to do i've talked to him tell me about Fort Oh, hell no. Get out. Bertha, please. All we need is one fresh power core. You blew up my car. Last damn car in town. You know how expensive that thing was? I do, and I'm sorry. My glove misfired, and... Uh, listen, we're on official mayor business. I don't care if the mayor comes here and karate chops me with his tiny arms. Supplies are limited. I got merchants disappearing in the miasma. First family's giving me shittier gear, but if you happen to find me a torque jammer, maybe I'll forgive you for killing my car and give you a power core. Listen, we don't have... Uh, I got your torque jammer, Bertha. <laughs> oh, yeah? It's right out back, and, uh, Bertha, while I'm out there, I'll be holding on to the memory of your beautiful face. Okay. Get me that jammer, and the core is yours. Better hurry. It's my last one. Welcome to Original Bertha's General Store. I'm Bertha Jr. What the hell are you telling her? Grabbing a talk jam is easy, little brother. Just gotta know where to grab. Border's been picked clean. Screw the border. We can go to Gator Zone. Your call. I'm going to Gator Zone. Tiger Tough. Come on. bad feeling about Gator Zone. But well, I got a good one. You want to fix your glove, right? Let's get Bertha what she wants. Sure, searching the wasteland for a tool the size of my hand. No sweat. Ah, I got your back. You got mine. Everything's easy peasy. Gufana mutating twice as fast as last week. Baxter, you shouldn't be out here. The miasma's spreading. I need to find out why. Find out in town. It's bad news out here. You're not my dad, Elvis. You're my friend. We're still friends, right? This place is evil, Baxter. And you're too... Full of light. I'm not full of light. Seriously, I don't want some creature dragging you back to its hole to, like, turn you into soup or some shit. Aw, sounds like you're sweet on me. Is he sweet on me, Diggs? Yeah. No. Dude. What? It's cool, I get it. 
Who has time for friends when you're looking for family? Oh, bite me. You're my best friend, Baxter. I just been busy. But we'll hang soon, I promise. My asthma's been acting weird. No shit. I don't want to brag, but I am the greatest scientist in town. Only scientist in town. You don't get it. It's making monsters. We saw him murder the Vodder family. What? Shit. I should have saw this coming. The last few weeks, there's been this hyper spike in the miasma's flux signals. Like it's getting... Angry? Exactly. Someone, something, is pissing it off. Screw bad news. I need some good news. You got me? Uh, well, nobody killed me today. Wow. Real blast of sunshine, Elvis. You know the difference between me and you. I got a metal glove and you got a metal arm. <laughs> Cute. Difference is, I know who I am, but you're looking for someone to tell you who you are. Okay. Tell me who I am. I can't. You are who you want to be. You choose. <laughs> wow, that's some deep shit, Baxter. I'm gonna ponder that. Good seeing you, Elvis. Don't get lost out there. More frog monsters. Keep cool, little brother. Remember hunting coyotes with mama? If we sneak up on the bastards, we can ambush them. That gives us the first move. What if they see us? Where's Guru? <laughs> Originals filled these shelves with all kinds of things. Two bodies frozen in my asthma. They look super old. Calcified. You think they were originals? Yep, one last hug before the collapse took their souls. Brings a tear to your eye. Mm. Thank you. 
slap me sideways.
happen if I shoot those fuel cans? Whammo, blammo, bye-bye, froggy. on the old man. You saved my life. Hey, 
you're Balmati's boy, aren't you? Yeah, that's me. You better get back to sedentary. Like that, Safer? Your ma used to protect our town. You know that? Without her magic. Don't know how we're gonna keep this evil from killing us. As sure as night turns to day, old man, we're gonna find her. Yeah? Then you're gonna need my backpack. I got a frag grenade and medipod inside. Hmm. Guess you're saving our lives. <laughs> Much obliged, old timer. Don't you worry about me. Just getting my breath back. ago, me and Goth Boy had our first date at Gator's home. Weird place for a date, I know, but perfect for a pair of freaks like us. We come back every year on the anniversary of that first date. This is our happy place, but it feels like this time might be our last time. With Mama gone, our friends gone, the storm spreading. Bar's empty. It's just us now. And the only place we have left. Now golf boy's coughing and... Mark and Sandy Graham proudly stand in the mouth of their family business, Gator Zone. They took the once floundering local attraction and turned it into a booming business. The Grams believe their good fortune is a direct result of the great stability that gives people more time to spend on the things they love. Local wildlife has also returned to the area. <laughs> Look at those pelicans fly. We hope you make a return visit to this family favorite, Gator Zone. The originals fought these monsters in a great war. History repeats, I guess.
The new keypad works perfectly. Thanks for getting it installed so fast. We really should get rid of, or at least disable, the old pad. It won't be long before a curious visitor works out the sequence. Sandy Graham. Talk about a holy grail! Damn! to these bastards. We gotta take them down. Hold on now, I see a torque jammer. We can't fix your glove without it. Ah, time to shine, little brother.
on point. 